Hi, I haven't made uh, any videos in a while, so I thought I'd like to chit chat a bit about um, raising kids. I think you already can guess what is the subject about, and if some of you are following me, you can already see the comments, the likes, the uh, the uh, comments against my comments or uh, whatever the people are thinking uh, I want to say something about this thing uh, it's not about I, I hold anything any feeling about this girl uh, for her hair color or anything else but can you see um, how the girl is look like how she is dressing up this girl has uh, uh, dyed her hair uh, in uh, what do you call it a crazy color i don't say like don't do dyeing or color your hair crazy when you're young it's your time to do it but not that young my dear it's like 14 year old this girl is claiming she's 14 year old and i don't see it's a 14 year old honestly um when she's moving this is not a girl a 14 year old doesn't wear clothing like that it doesn't look good number one number two um, whatever she did to her hair or the kind of sorry um, I don't want to show whoever made the video it was like a uh, neon glowing hair and uh, the part of talking I wanted to do was you can see I made a comment She's 14, unbelievable. She, look, she looks 20 plus, but honestly, she looks exactly uh, 25 to me. I used to look that kind of face when I was 25. So that is how I'm uh, taking it. It's not that, that I didn't do any kind of makeup when I was young. I started doing makeup. I mean, not like these days makeup. People do full foundation face, like a cake face and all those things not nothing like that but I used to do makeup uh, from I when I was probably 17 a little bit of lipstick a little bit of eyeliner and since I had less uh, problematic face I didn't have to use any kind of corrector concealer or anything else probably I had a gifted skin that's why but also at the same time, I was taking care of my skin. I was moisturizing my skin, take, keeping my skin clear, was not slipping over with my makeups or blah, 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 all those things. Usually young girls have the fascination of makeup when they're in tender age. So I had the same. I, use, I love lipstick. Now these days, I don't even put lipstick that much. I do buy, but all of them are nudes. I don't use bright color lipstick that much but at that time as well I didn't like that much of bright color I think I barely wore red lipstick <laughs> in my lifetime but funny part is people say fuchsia pinks reds they suits me a lot they complements my skin color and at the same time since I have very clear skin I take really good care of my skin from uh, my I mean from my teenage I really took good care of my face and uh, after some time at the from the age of 28 or 27 I started to take care of my hands feet as well I mean see these are the knowledge of how you are growing up and th these are the common sense these are the knowledge like how you should look like nobody wants to look older trust me nobody uh, if somebody says oh you're 18 you look just 14 that is a compliment so far you look younger you know somebody can say oh wh what is the big deal of looking younger yes it does people want to uh, want to look want to look good when people have money the first thing they, they go for is how to look better that is how it is trust me people after buying a bunch of watches dresses shoes purse and everything people just run for their looks so looks are important if somebody said no it's not important living healthy is important your good health just reflects on your face that is how it is connected so don't say that look is not important after 
everything when you come in front of people people look at your face first so yes look is important you cannot deny so uh, that is one thing so eat healthy live healthy take care of your skin take care of yourself don't eat trashes don't put chemicals on yourself too much it is just torturing yourself i want to make a comment about something i love kylie jenner's lipsticks or uh probably her makeup line a lot that is fine but this 20 or 21 year old girl she looks more than 30. honestly i find herself look older she what what so far through media what so far i can understand she did some plastic surgeries including uh her lips to her boobs her butt i don't understand why it was required so far uh i think now these days when she whenever she puts up a uh, what do you call it a lip kits um photo or the shade color in her uh, Instagram or uh, Facebook, uh, I can see her lips are looking gigantic. This, uh, this kind of plastic surgeries has side effects. I think about that girl, my Lord, this poor girl. I don't know how many uh, shots she had. I don't know how many times she had to go under the knife of the doctor, but I feel sorry. Because you know what, if you see her recent pics, you will see like her boobs are looking bigger. What the, uh, the form she came up to with the plastic surgery or the silicone surgery or whatever you say. I, I don't know much about these things, but I can see the side effect. It's becoming bigger. You know, whenever you go out of the track or the natural system, it will definitely backfire. Again, her <laughs> humongous gigantic looking booty oh my god i feel sorry when she can't sit it straight i feel sorry when she can't stand straight she's always putting a pressure on her toe or on her heel if you look correct i mean if you look a little bit uh with a concentration you can see she can't stand and also like whatever the underpants or uh, when she's wearing a swimsuit, two-piece, all those things, it looks like I'm watching a grandpa pant. Seriously, it looks like a grandpa. You know, the grandpas uh, usually wear their pants up to, like, almost up to chest. Her panties go up to the level. It's so funny. Her, it can't hold her butts anymore. And I don't know if it's changing, she can tell you better that if it's growing bigger because I feel like every time she's taking a shot it looks like okay it's growing bigger she has longer life to go or she has to walk more way I must say she's a good businesswoman she's uh, holding up the trend and not like others everybody like flashes with lipsticks flushes foundations and blah 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 everything she's releasing every single thing one by one that is how she's doing business and it's excellent her shades shades are excellent her product qualities are pretty good of course some mishaps happens but it's it is business and she's making a lot of money out of it it's not like that i, I really f uh, find it really good like uh kardashian family uh how they are working with their names and only with the reality shows kylie came out of it but my lord, th this girl is ruining herself. A couple of days back, I have seen, I think, uh, a t-shirt she came up with. She's just, uh, I think, uh, blowing some smoke. She was smoking, <laughs> or I don't know, whatever it is. What kind of t-shirt is that? You have to show you're smoking? Why? Why do you have to show something like that? She looks good. If she want to put her face on a t-shirt she always can do that she they, they do a lot of photo shoot and she can do that do that i feel really bad about this girl and you know why i feel bad because a lot of girls are like in america not in america she went through a whole world and 
I feel bad that all of the girls are following her. They're like more interested to even in my country you now. People are having Botox and they're doing the lip fillers. What do you call it? Lip fillers or something like that. And I'm so surprised. Girls are not even uh, feel bothered to put their pocket monies or any kind of monies, whatever they can, you know, arrange for a lip filler. And it is so popular now these days. And I don't find it natural. I don't find it normal in my country. Oh my God, it's like wasting money in uh, like, we are pretty different from USA. We do use their products. We can afford the people who can afford, of course, they will buy it. But the thing is the following a particular person who is a not as usual person or a normal person like us, that is not correct. You know, following the trend of wearing a skirt or wearing a pan, a pair of pants or wearing, I don't know, a pair of Gucci or, a, I don't know, Robato Cavalli, that kind of brand's fascination that is really normal. Like following a celebrity, oh, she wore this, oh, she wore that. Or she's taking, a, this is a purse what Jennifer Lopez used or this is a, a t-shirt Gigi Hadid uh, is wearing I can understand that t that part or Kylie lip kit lip kit or Kylie blush or Kylie highlighters highlighters you call it fantastic it's fine but changing yourself to that person or that person who is not even her everything is fake everything is plastic surgery that is not correct. I don't find it normal. So uh, that is weird. That is weird to me. I watch another makeup artist in YouTube. I didn't even know it's a tra uh, transsexual uh, person. So I cannot really um, call him or her. I don't know, whatever. Uh, this person, uh, everything is like fake. He or she got a cheekbone surgery or uh, reduced weight or uh, hair color or eye color, nose job, lip job, everything is fake. Oh my God. I can understand when a person is transferring from one gender to another, uh, they will have a lot of uh, change. But when a normal person like a girl, when she is uh, tra uh, trying to look like that person, what kind of bizarre look she will come up with, you have no idea. Or maybe she doesn't have any idea. Probably the people uh, who is looking at her, we can have an idea that, that, that kind of change. Lackings of a human being, or I won't say lackings, everybody is made uh, everybody uh, made by God and everybody is beautiful that's what I understand doesn't matter what color what look like what height what weight you are you are beautiful and the beauty products should be enhancers not the life changer it cannot be if you have some problems with your looks you can always fix it up with the makeup but makeup is not for your life changing it should be the motto and um, it's really disturbing trust me it's really disturbing to me even though I review makeup I don't review makeup in that way that it will change your life uh, so I don't support it and uh, young people if you are watching please don't change yourself to something else or someone else you don't have to you are an individual and you will you will live like that you can make yourself uh, you can f you can make yourself better or you can present yourself to the world as you it's not hard it's not dif difficult it just need you a little bit of effort that's it but uh, don't change yourself in that way like with the plastic surgeries or all those things nothing you just take care of yourself you're beautiful anyway so uh, I would pass only the positive vibes seriously I, I just don't like people go through all those fake things Another thing I want to talk about in this one, I, I got seriously disturbed with uh, something with, let me show you. This is a hype, another one. I don't like this thing about America. When somebody does something wrong, this cash me outside girl, 
I think her name is Danielle and uh, this girl if you see this particular video I was shocked catch me outside official music video I mean what kind of crooked are they they made a video out of uh, 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 I mean this girl is not <laughs> in normal state it, I saw her video and I was I was a little bit shocked when I saw let's see this one I think yeah this one like, if you see the f beginning of this video her her mom is calling her bitch and she's letting her daughter wear all this makeups and all this looks look at her face she is very young but uh, the moment she started to wear makeups all those big earrings and the hair dance and all those things if you see this one she uh, she's she had colored her hair something else here she is something else and the kind of dress ups the kind of language she she's holding up a weird uh, accent I don't know whatever it is sometimes it sounds like Texan and sometimes I don't know I'm not American so I cannot really uh, you know, f uh, define well, what is that? Even I heard, I, I saw some of the videos. Nobody can find out what kind of language she's doing. I think it's some kind of hybrid. She just m uh, made it out of fun, but uh, behavioral problems. She got a lot. Looks. She got a. She got big nails and whatever the makeup she's wearing. She looks like she's trying to act like a adult person but whatever she's doing is not a uh, stuff of adult so um gotta help them i hope her mother can uh do something about it uh she went to uh doctors uh, dr phil's uh sorry about it uh her doctor uh dr phil's show and it's quite disturbing whatever she said to the doctor about her and uh, she made some comment about the doctor uh, it makes me think like where is it going what where, where, where is this generation going they're never happy they're always restless to I don't know what they're trying to prove and to prove to whom and for what they are go they're targetless they are they don't know what they're doing just to have fun they're killing someone they're hurting someone they are hurting themselves they're doing crazy things so what the heck is going on man i don't want to use swearing words or something like that or uh, seriously i'm not that kind of person but you know this thing needs need to be changed and some people are just making a meme or just doing uh, making some music videos mocking her you know what you guys are giving a support to her behavior whatever she is doing and i have seen a comment of a girl who, who wrote in somewhere i, I saw somewhere some uh, posting of this uh, daniel's video she was saying like i am a, a college student and i'm working my ass off uh, for 12 hours or 14 hours and i'm trying to arrange my college tuition my living my food and this girl is becoming rich within 30 seconds of fame or two minutes of fame and is it justice people should stop it i felt so bad it's true this college girl is working day and night for arranging money to have a good life and what are these happening why these are happening why you guys are supporting you cannot do this to the rest of the world who are doing normal casual things it's affecting their life whatever you're doing it out of fun and youtube should be a instrument of uh instrument of uh, passing a po positive vibe it's uh, now these days youtube changed a lot i think it's spreading well, bad things more as a positive thing uh, rather than 
spreading uh, the good thing as a positive thing. Seriously, I feel like it. So don't do this. Don't support this uh, wrong behavior or wrong things as a positive thing, as a support. You're making memes. Okay, fine. You're making memes, but make it, uh, make it in a different way. This is not the way because this girl had the guts to come up with such kind of bad behavior and she can talk loud just because of she knew that the reaction will be like that people will take it so lightly and it will be a fun later on people are calling her saying are you uh, the cash me outside girl i saw a boy from uh, dubai i think he was calling to this girl and this girl was really appreciating that so is this about life or the life became a reality show like the kardashians my goodness this is not going anywhere so okay th that's what i said if you agree i don't know i i don't want to uh make it a uh, catfight discussion i just wanted to uh give a my uh, i just wanted to put my thoughts in uh, some of the words i i don't know uh if it's correct or if it's not correct but from my lifestyle from my point of view it is correct if you feel like if you want to share anything if you want to comment anything yeah i know there are so many people uh, you people are you people think hey, you don't know you you are nobody to make any comment about anybody's life what they should do what they do what what they shouldn't be doing i know but you know this is affecting other people and you shouldn't be doing that if it's not affecting anybody you you, you are free to do anything so don't say that we we don't have the right to say anybody to what to do and what not to do so thank you be uh, be nice with the people young people we have we have so much expectation from you uh, the world is going nuts so you are the people who are going to be in the driving seat in the future so don't ruin your life don't be rude with people don't be harsh with people and don't be like this crazy people they are one or two i hope it will be one or two i know there are always some good side or bad side of the world so yeah be on the nice side thank you